Hey YouTube, Forever Chia back again with another YouTube video. It's been a minute and I don't know. Y'all know me, I love the makeup. Oh my gosh, my lashes like it's falling down because of the hair. Okay, anyway, um, yes, yeah, been a minute. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Y'all know I love beauty and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm still overall college girl here, but love beauty stuff too. And I've been watching a lot of the, um, just a lot of like collection type of videos. So I've been loving the lip gloss collections recently. And I was like, hey, I know I got a lot of lip glosses. So let me show y'all my collection. So um, let me do a little thumbnail real quick. Ah! It's gonna fall. Is that cute? Okay, anyway, um, this is my collection of lip glosses. I don't usually keep them in this bag. This is some little polo bag, like makeup container. So I found all the lip glosses I could find. I know I have a lot more. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Maybe a lot of it. But um, I have a lot, a lot, a lot more lip glosses. I just have no idea where they are. They could be in jacket pockets. They could be in like my purses, um, book bag. It could be anywhere. So... Yeah, these are all the ones I could find currently. If I can remember some off the top of the head that I can't find right now, I'll go ahead and mention those as well. But yeah, we're gonna get right into this video. Um, if y'all like this video and this type of content, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay, stay in tune with your girl. If I'm not posting videos, y'all let me know so I can just do that because sometimes I just feel like I'm just filming to film and I don't like doing that, so. I was excited to do this video. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into it. I don't know what order I'm gonna do this in. I think I'm gonna just grab and go. If I have like multiples of one, we're just gonna talk about all of those at the same time. But yeah, and see, let's get into it. Oh, before we talk about lip glosses, I wanted to bring up some lip liners that are my favorites. I only got two in here for now. But the Beauty Supply um, NK Makeup Bold Lip Liners, I swear, people don't talk about these enough. Here they are. These are bombs. So I have one in brown and the other one in dark brown. This is dark brown, this is regular brown. And these are bomb. These are my version of Chestnut and Cork and by Mac, okay? And they are literally $2 each. Um, here it is. It's a thicker lip liner and that's personally why I like it. I don't really like thin lip liners for some reason. I don't know, my lips are bigger and I just feel like these enhance them a bit better. But those are the two shades that I love. Aside from these lip liners, I do love the um, NYX lip liners and my favorite lip liners would have to be the ColourPop lip liners. Those are amazing. I have um, BFF3, BFF4, C control the CTRL one. I got those not too long ago, but yeah. I love my lip liners and I'm a brown lip liner girl. I don't go outside of that. Even my lip gloss collection, like my colors you'll see are predominantly in the same family, but we're gonna get right into it. So let's see what I should choose. Okay, these are like legit on top. So this is the Soap and Glory Pillow Plump XXL lip gloss. I'm gonna um, insert the prices of them and stuff up here because I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, this is this one. This lip gloss here, it's really good, but personally, I don't like the smell of it. Personally, I don't like the smell of them, but they will leave your lips feeling plump. Like, this thing feels like it's injecting your lip. Like, if you want that plumping effect, get try this lip gloss. So this is it in clear. And then this one is in the shade Nude in Town. I love this color. I love using this one, um, like with a brown lip liner. It just looks so good together. So yeah, these are from Soap and Glory. Very, very nice lip glosses. I just personally don't like the smell. And I don't even know what to tell you what it smells like. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like, but personally, I don't like the smell. Here's one of my go-to lip glosses, you guys. This is the Elf, um, Lip Plumping Gloss in Mocha Twist. This shade is everything. With a brown lip liner, put this on, you're good to go. I love the, the applicator on it. I love how it's a little angled. I don't know, I just love it. And you see the shade, it's just so pretty. I love this gloss. So, 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 so much. 
So that's the Elf, Lip Elf Plumping Gloss and Mocha Twist. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Mocha Twist. This one right here is the Cult Fave. This is the Elf Lip Lacquer and Clear Fan Fave. Everyone loves this. If you don't have it, what are you doing? But yeah, I have like, yeah, I got two of these in here right now. I love them, just little on-the-go lip glosses if I'm traveling or if I'm just on the run. These are really, really nice to have in your purse. What I like about these lip glosses, so far, okay, the e.l.f. Lip, lip Plumping Gloss, ugh, the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss, it's a little bit sticky, but these aren't sticky like at all, but you need to like build them up if you want like that ultra shine to them, so they're just nice and they're very moisturizing, that's why I really like them. Um, I also have this NARS lip gloss. Shout out to Persephone for giving it to me. It's almost out, but this is in the shade Super Vixen. <laughs> I love the name of it, but it's really, really pretty. Like, look at the shade. It reminds me a lot of the Fenty gloss shade. It's really, really, really pretty, and it's NARS. <sighs> Hi, end baby. Come check me. Oh, I didn't even mention. You gotta have the Aquaphor on deck, that's period, okay? Especially in the, these winter months, you gotta have it on deck. I don't like Carmex, I love Aquaphor and I love Ballistic. So those are the only ones that you're really gonna catch on these lips. Persephone gave me this one. This is the Broadway Vita Lip Coconut Oil Lip Gloss. I've had the pink one of this for sure. I don't know if I've had the mint one or not, but yeah, everyone knows these. These are like a dollar at a beauty supply store. Um, I did enjoy my pink one until I guess I lost it because I haven't seen it in a long time. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice gloss. It's sticky. It's not like super duper sticky, but it's pretty sticky. But I like it. It gets the job done. It smells good. feels good. What else could you ask for? I love, love, love my Bath & Body Works lip glosses. I have this one in magenta. Is this magenta? Yeah, magenta mint. And then I just have the, like, the vanilla-y one. And they're just amazing. Like, I have this one on top of my lip gloss right now. Like, do I need to say anything? Like, <laughs> these feeling, like, you know how some lip glosses, like, you can legit see, like, all the little lines in your lips? These don't do that whatsoever. You put these on, you do not see anything but shine, shine, shine. These are amazing. They smell good, they taste good. I love them. And I have one more of this. I have the Violet Mint. They're just all so good, like, and like they take forever to use up. Like this one, I don't know if you can see, probably not, I can see it. I'm like halfway on it now and I don't know how far down I am with this one, but I love them. And I use these like pretty regularly. If I have on like a lip gloss and I don't feel like it's shiny enough, I put those on top. Okay, I have these little, I don't ever really use these, but I have these three little um, MAC lip glasses and these little funky colors. Maybe I'll use them <laughs> one day, but right now they're not really my forte. But yeah, they're cute, I have them. A lot of people love MAC lip glasses. I haven't really had a shade that I'm just like, I have not tried out any to know like whether I really like the formula because the shades I have are just so off from what I traditionally like. So maybe one day I'll give me a, like a full size MAC lip glass and try it out, but yeah, I haven't really tried these out. This right here is my, I think, it's hard to say, but this might be my favorite lip gloss. I've already gone through a whole tube of this, but this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Roji Future. And I see this as a like spot on dupe for the um, Fenty Gloss Bomb and Fenty Glow, the original one. But you can see like, I'm already <laughs> going through it. But they're not like, they're more expensive than beauty supply store lip glosses. These are like maybe $6.99, but I, when I tell you, I promise you that this is worth it. A little bit of it goes a long way. But I promise you, like, you're gonna love this. Let's see. I'm out here doing swatches like I'm doing something. But that's Fenty Glow. Bruh, that is Fenty Glow. <laughs> I love it. And, but yeah, this is my favorite lip gloss because it's affordable, it gets the job done. The color lasts like all day on your lips. This is an amazing gloss. Like, I will continue to buy this as long as they have it. It's 
Speaking of Fenty Glow, I have Fenty Glow, so here it is. Um, we're gonna swatch her too. I love this gloss, but I, personally, I don't see it as being like super, ooh, super duper shiny. But I'm about to just swatch it underneath. Can you see it? Let's swatch a little bit underneath. Okay, so they're, they're not like spot on, spot on, but you get the point. They look very, very similar, especially on the lips if you have like neutral color lips. They're amazing. It just looks so good. But yeah, I do like this gloss. It's just not like, oh my God. Like, I feel like it's a flex to have. Like, oh yeah, I have the Fenty Glow. But overall, it's not like my favorite gloss. I have like, um, cheaper, more affordable glosses that I like more than my Fenty glosses. Don't shoot me, don't hate me, that's just the truth. I just love like long lasting lip glosses and those don't last on my lips as long as I would hope. And then again, I don't put like two, three layers of lip gloss on. I like a one and done type of glosses. Speaking of the red long glosses, I do have four more. These are all different shades. <laughs> so I have this little reddish one. This is a beautiful color. Like Maybe I could wear some like that today. This is in the shade Desert Spice. I love them because they do give like, they show off, like they show that pigment, but it's not like overpowering to the point where it's just like, you might as well just wear a liquid lipstick. But yeah, this one's in Desert Spice, beautiful color. Then I have this one in Sandstorm. Pretty light shade. These were $5.97. Yeah, it's so pretty, right? Right? It's so pretty. Um, I would use this one like as a center gloss and I really like something I would put all over my lips because it is kind of light. This one's a real pretty color too. This one is in Sugar Violet. It's so pretty. I love the shade. But nothing beats um, Rosy Future. Love the shade. And then I have Pango Peach. That's a nice, pretty pink shade too. So I just love, personally, I just love the Revlon glosses. I feel like people don't really talk about them that much, but personally, I just feel like they look really, really good on the lips, personally. So, oh, this is the, actually the gloss I'm wearing today. This is the Milani Keep It Full. Yeah, Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Champagne number one. And this is a nice, this is a really nice gloss. Like, I love that it has like, I just love glosses with fat, like doe foot application. You see how big that doe foot is? I love it. And my lip, like I said, my lips are a little big, so I just, I'm good to go. And I also have another one. This one's in the shade Natural Luster. So these are my two Milani lip glosses and I love them <laughs> love those oh I do have another elf lip plumping gloss this one is in the shade champagne glam I see this more as far like a lip topper but the shade is beautiful like you see that it's a champagne color with like little glitter reflexes but it's not like those overpowering lip particles that you just gonna see like before you turn out like that This is the holy grail, okay? This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. This, this basically, I need to get another one because this one is basically dried out, baby. Like, okay, it's a little bit of gloss in there, but it's just not coming out the way it used to. I love this gloss. This is my favorite NYX gloss ever. The shade is just perfection with a brown lip liner. You can't tell me nothing, okay? That's point blank, that's point blank period. I love this gloss. And they smell so good too, like, it just smells so sweet. I really love it. Then, okay, I also have um, the NYX Intense Butter Gloss. This one is in like apple, yeah, apple dumpling beignet. <laughs> apple, apple dumpling beignet. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty color. I haven't, I haven't used this one yet, it's brand new. But um, it just looks like a pretty shade. But I've had the intense glosses before and they just have more um, color payoff versus the regular butter glosses if you want to know the difference. And then here's another butter gloss that I really like. I use this one as a center lip 
shade. This one is in the shade um, Madeline. Madeline, Madeline, whatever, but it's pretty and I love it. This one right here, this is the um, Morphe lip gloss in Pixie. This shade is like very, very, very similar to the NYX um, lip gloss in Praline. So that's why I love this lip gloss too. This one doesn't wear as much as the Praline shade, like this one, like I have to reapply it throughout the day. But baby, it's still a beautiful shade. And look at the packaging. I'm a sucker for cute packaging. And I feel like Morphe just did it with this. Like, you pull this at your purse, people are like, oh, that's a good looking gloss, you know what I'm saying? So I really like that. <sighs> Listen. Listen. The ColourPop So Juicy Lip Glosses, these are glosses of life, okay? You need at least one. I only have one, but you need at least one. Mine is in the shade QT, and like you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be way too light, but no, like this is barely like any color on it. It's that real sticky, like traditional lip gloss that leaves your lips shining for days. Like this lip gloss does not come off your lips. Like you gotta like legit like, like really wipe it off if you want this lip gloss to come off. And that's what I personally like because I hate reapplying lip gloss. I know there's some people who love reapplying lip gloss throughout the day. I'm not that girl. This, put a little bit on and you're good to go for the day. I, prom I promise you that. I promise you that. I love this lip gloss. So yeah, so juicy lip gloss by ColourPop, they did that. I have another Morphe lip gloss. This one is in the shade Flower Crown. And I use this one also as like a center lip gloss. It's cute, you know. It ain't nothing like, oh, you know, wild about, but it's very nice, very pretty. So we're down to only four, four lip glosses left. And my camera is acting up, so hold on one second. Okay, I'm back, you guys. So yeah, my camera was, I guess my battery was getting full or something, I don't know. But, um, this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. This one's brand new, I haven't opened it either, but it's just a regular butter gloss, so. Happy to have her in my collection, you know what I'm saying? Then, oh, I, I like at first, okay, let me tell y'all the story about this lip gloss. I had it, I sold it, and I rebought it again. This is the Fenty um, Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. I don't know, I just couldn't get into it, but now, <laughs> shining, 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 y'all. Like, this is a really, really, really pretty gloss. I don't know, I just didn't like it when I first used it, but then again, maybe I didn't line my lips or something. I don't know, I didn't like it, but now I love it. So this is the Fenty Lip Gloss in Diamond Milk. I love my Fenty Gloss. But this right here is my favorite, favorite, favorite Fenty Gloss. This is the... Um, Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. This is just so up my alley. Like, it's nude, but it's more so on the pinker side of it. So I love the shade so much. If I want a little bit extra, you know, a little extra. I don't even know what to call it. I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, this right here is so beautiful. So yeah. So I heard the three. And you can see the differences in the shade. Some people are just like, oh, they look similar. Like Fussy and um, Fancy Club, but they're actually different as you can see. Um, Fussy has a lot more pink to it. I'm not getting any of the new shades because as y'all can see, I have a lot of glosses that I need to go through already. Okay, so that was it. I have one gloss left. And that is the <sighs> Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. This is a... This is a bomb lip gloss, a bomb affordable lip gloss. It's like $3 at Ulta. Um, it's hard to come by it because ever since Alyssa Ashley like made a post with it, I'm gonna insert her picture here. Ever since she made this post, you cannot find this lip gloss anywhere. So if you see it, grab you about like two, three. Don't, don't grab all of them. Don't be selfish. But grab you a couple because they're hard to come by. But yeah, it's an amazing gloss. Like, it leaves my lips like this, basically. Like, it does the thing, okay? So, yeah, and then I just love the packaging. It's just so cute. 
It's just so cute, right? So yeah, um, that's it for all my lip glosses. I think I'm about to just show y'all my top five out of all of them. Let me count and see, how, well, I'll just leave the count like that I have on here somewhere. Okay, so from like this is not in any particular, well, no, I'm gonna make it in particular order. Number one, my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. If you don't have this in your collection, go out and get it right now. I'm telling you, by the time you finish this video, you should have this lip gloss in your hand. And when you try it out, you will see why. This lip gloss is amazing and so underrated. Get your hands on it. <sighs> Number two, I'm gonna go with my Praline lip gloss because this shade is, am is amazing. The formula lasts a long time on my lips. Love this gloss so, so, so much. You can't go wrong with a clear gloss. And this one is like, it gives you like, like it's called the wet look without being like ultra sticky or anything like that. Um, and it's very, very affordable. It's $3, can't go wrong. So yeah, get that. I love my Elf Lip Plumping Gloss, you guys. I love her. And Mocha Twist, yeah. So get at her. And she lives you to that tingling effect. She a little sticky, not too, too sticky, so yeah. And these were my last two I couldn't choose. I love, love, love this lip gloss right here. Like, I use her as a topper for any lip gloss that I don't feel like is shiny enough. And that's like, it's the same with all of my um, Bath & Body Works lip glosses like this. Like, I use them all as toppers. Like I said, that's, what, that's what's on my lips today. Um, but yeah, I love these so much. And they leave my lips feeling nice and refreshed and minty. But then I also want to mention the So Juicy Lip Gloss because I believe everybody should go out and get at least one. It does not have to be this shade, just any shade. The formula of it is just so amazing. If you want that sticky lip gloss feel, you know, that'll last you all day without you having to reapply, so. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope that you gained something from this video. I hope that you found new, a few new lip glosses that you probably didn't have or wanted to try out and just wanted some extra oomph to go and get it. Um, if there are any lip glosses that y'all have that I personally don't have, please let me know which ones y'all think I should buy. Right now, I really do want like a Buxom gloss. And I've heard a lot of good things about the Ulta like lip oil, it's like a fruit infused lip oil, something like that. I've heard good things about those, so I might try those out. But what are your favorite lip glosses? Be sure to comment down below and let me know. So I can go, go and get mine. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this video and I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye.